thing I'd want to do is leave this place. Too much important stuff going on. will result in immediate expulsion from the facility. Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kreller? Or somewhere else? Nowhere. I just like to come down here to hear your voice. Pop in any time, sir. Result in immediate expulsion from the facility. Oh, 
awesome! You must be a psychonaut by now! Yeah! Or even a double psychonaut! <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice.
what you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Hey, is that my name on that one? Not unless your name is Frankie or Kitty. Oh, I guess I saw an R and, and an A. What's your name again, kid? Spaz? My name's Raz. Well, Spaz, why don't you go bother someone else? Can I ask you guys a question? Mm, hmm, no. Where'd you get your clothes? Because my sister, she's kind of fat and she has so much trouble finding good stuff. What? I said, do you know where Sasha's secret lab is? Why don't you go talk to someone who likes you and leave us alone? Where'd you get your clothes? What? Hey, Lily, do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at those two. Who'd even want a stupid friendship bracelet? I don't know. I wouldn't mind one. Yeah? Well, that's stupid. Want to measure my wrist? Just in case. Mm, no. Want to measure my wrist? Just in case. Mm, no. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, Bear. Nikhail will find you. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, Bear. Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. Uh, no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. Maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can turn them in for Psy cards. Now with that, you can change the color of some of your Psy powers. Like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of a vanity thing. You know, in my day, Psy powers were all gray and we thought that was grand. We were happy just to have Psy powers. Ah, but you know kids these days. Ah, now here's something that every young Psy cadet needs. Now that Dowson rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you now. You take now that Dowson rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. Now, you take that Psy core there, put it together with nine Psy cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new Psy challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. I'll take it. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Now, mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. Now, mm, oh, that's, that's my last cobweb duster. All right, go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local merchants. Hey, where are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. 
No, 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 no. Let's go. Hey, you guys are good. Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad. And completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. Sorry, 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 my bad. Not to worry, my bro. Let's just pick it up from the part where I do that thing. Drum solo! Woo! You heard the man. Do over. Two, three, four! Hey, what's the name of the band? The, the Liar Satters. Let's not fight in front of the fans, okay? Let's not. Hey, Phoebe, can I ask you a question? What? Have you ever had a weird nightmare about a bathtub? Is this a joke set up? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Good, because if you tell one more drummer joke, I'll plant this stick in your eye. Drum solo! Woo! You heard... Yeah, baby! <clears throat> Ask not for who the cowbell rocks. The cowbell rocks for thee. You know what? You hated that part? <laughs> it's like you're reading my mind. Hey, you're not, are you? You're not supposed to. Relax. There's nothing in there I don't already know.
You have a water phobia? <gasps> Me too! Huh? No. Well, yes. I just... My family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh! I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya! Um, hey Raz. I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? No pop in. Mr. Cruller, can I take out a canoe? Uh, Mr. Who? You will call me Admiral, son. Uh, no, you can't charter a vessel. Not without an oarsman's badge. Excuse me, Admiral? Eh? Where can I get an oarsman's badge? I'd really like to take out a canoe. Uh, you gotta get it from one of the official camp counselors. I can't have just anybody in my fleet. Excuse me, Admiral? Eh? Where can I get an oarsman's badge? Uh, round thing up on the dock. That thing? Oh man, let me tell you about that thing. That thing is none of your stinking business! What are you guys doing? Beat it, you kid! What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh man, let me tell you about that thing. That thing... Mind if I scoot by? Not if you don't mind my fist scooting in your neck! Mind if I scoot by? Ow! <laughs> oh no you don't! Mind if I scoot by? Not if you don't mind my fist scoot- Hey! Hey, are you psychic fishing? I've read about that. Oh, I could never fish. That would be terrible. Regular people can be mean to fish, I guess, but I can't. I can hear everything the little guys are thinking. Fish think? About what? Well, normally not much, but today they're all kind of freaked. They're scared of something in the lake. Me too. Now that I know it's full of freaked out thinking fish, there's something 
big and scary out there, Raz. I wonder, could the old legends be true? What are you doing? Shh! I'm trying to hear them talk. What are you doing? Shh! I'm trying to hear them talk. But that doesn't make any sense. Yep. Is that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> Kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact, so I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha 9's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive! Well, nice knowing you. Hey, you guys sound great! <laughs> Much obliged, partner. That's really catchy. Thanks a lot, man. You guys are excellent. Mighty kind of you to say. Wow, sweet. Uh, glad you like it.
Eager one. Eager to learn, I wonder, or just eager to play? Sir, I am here to learn, sir. You're here to train hard? Mm. Yes, sir. Develop a skill? Yes, sir. To become part of a noble team? Yes. Yes, to become... Yes. A janitor. No. What? I'm here to be a psychonaut. Nah, nah, uh, the brainy jub jub goes on upstairs. And down here it's pushing brooms, not bending spoons. <laughs> hey, Mr. Crawler, do you know where Sasha Nine's lab is? What? Huh? Secret underground lab? I don't have a secret underground lab. That's hobgoblin. Now beat it. Get! Now stop staring at my mops. Oh. Hey, I should ring you out like a wet mop.
Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you'd just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend James staring back, and he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly! And anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. Nils? Hey, Elka. Hey, butt out! Oh. Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. Hey, not fair! Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? Nils! I don't know. I don't know. this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. Oh man, cool! Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six-sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hotbox. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty! And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplices should assault own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! one of the buttons is missing. This is the button that Sasha gave me. 
It's a... <laughs> Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. Just as soon as I'm done with these tests. So what are we going to learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. Not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the Brain Tumbler and we'll begin. Brain Tumbler? Is this gonna hurt? Step up to the Brain Tumbler when you're ready. Is this gonna hurt? Step up to the Brain Tumbler when you're ready. Yep. <laughs> Is this gonna hurt? Step up to the brain tumbler when- So, what's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away! Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. Wow! Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling.
Sasha. I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Uh-oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Rasputin, tell me what is happening. Well, I'm kind of stuck in a little white space. Hmm, how little? Really little. Do you feel trapped? No. Confined? No. Smothered like you're buried alive? No! Ah! Get me out of here! Can you find your way out? I can't see anything. Can you fight your way out? Huh? Strike uh -huh. out with your psychic fist, Rasputin, but carefully. Keep punching, Rasputin! Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a pay. Come back here. What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming-eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh, I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Okay. I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Um, uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. 
I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. Okay. I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Did you convince... Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Did you convince Agent Crawler to give you a marksmanship learner's permit yet? Oh, uh, yes. But I left it in my other pants. Be right back. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? I want to go to the campfire area. Mmm. You look so cute in that janitor outfit. Warning. Geodesic psycho-isolation chamber this way. Stay out. Mr. Cruller? Ah, so you're finally ready to begin your janitor training. Um, almost. But as a practice for that, I'm learning some advanced techniques from Sasha 9 right now. You ever clean out a jailhouse bathroom with nothing but a pair of underwear and three bottles of diet lemonade? Yes. Maybe. No. That's a real advanced technique. Uh, you let me know when you're done with your little zippy zappy head games and we'll get you to some extreme mopping, okay? I'm learning some advanced techniques from Sasha 9 right now. You let me know when you're done with your little zippy zappy head games and we'll get to some extra mopping, okay? Where would you like me to... Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? Warning, warning. Geodesic psycho-isolation chamber this way. This way to the main lodge. To the kids' cabins. Where's my hamburger? I, I told you. Just kidding. I just want to buy stuff. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. Oh, that's my last cop. Now with that, you... Ah, now here's something every young sire cadet. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are... Excellent choice. <laughs> what else can I do you for? Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious. Now, you take that side car. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? Now, you take that side car there. It. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? That's it for now. Alright. Go get more airheads and. Come on back. Heck. 
Watch it, watch it. Hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. Solo, you would. No, 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 no. Let's go. Where'd you get your clothes? Who? Want to measure my wrist? Just in case. not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Mental cobwebs getting you down. I've got just the device up here in the main large store. Why don't you come on up and score yourself a cobweb duster before they're all sold out? Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. 
In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. I can't wait to burn s Hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. Uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Quick, come on now, just look at something, and then use your new power to set it on fire. You're getting warmer. Focus. Ooh, it's getting hot. Son, Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. You can do... I didn't train you in that so you could set me on fire. Now knock it off! Think heat. Focus. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me. Only use your power, pyrokinesis only, when it's very, very important. Or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, Make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. What's Citanium? Citanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. You want to teach you advanced combat? On your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouth full of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old dining helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Nothing, nothing. Prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sasha's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast any way you want. Thanks. Side blast? Oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, God, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, 
ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. What is all this equipment? Well, up here, it's up down that and beneath. You should go from. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Agent Cruller? Sure. How goes the training? I'd better... Good luck, Rasputin. Before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The dust stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker. Which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core. Also sold in the company store for nominal fee. And it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there. Yep, basically. Have fun. Fort said that I can use this machine to turn pine needles into delicious taffy. I said it turns mental cobwebs into side cards. Just testing your hearing. But you gotta buy a cobweb duster at the camp store first. Yeah, yeah. Ah, don't you yeah, yeah me. Man, he's like a little bat. Bat your head in, punk. to buy a side core at the camp store before I can use this machine to make side challenge markers.
Where would you like me to take you, Agent Kraller? Take me to the kids' cabins area. With pleasure. 